What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, No Credit, and I'm back again with another one. I need you guys to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification icon for more videos like this. That being said, let's get into it. So Mario Barrios, a snack athlete, because I've seen these pictures on snack. Um, it's coming off a win over... Um, you doing this? Oogies. Um, in a fight, a lot of us... A lot of us probably didn't really see going that way, the way it went. Um, it was like a one-sided fight in favor of Barrios. You know, that just shows either Ugas is overrated or Ugas was uh, completely damaged goods after the Earl Spence fight because... Losing to Barrios, who got stopped by Javante Davis. Honestly, it's kind of embarrassing. You're at 147. Javante Davis at 135. And Javante Davis moved up and stopped Mario Barrios. So for Udernas Ugas, who beat Manny Pacquiao, to lose to a guy like that that got stopped by Javante Davis... It's mind-boggling and it's shocking. That just makes Javante Davis' wins even more impressive. Honestly, if we really sit down and think about it, like, and we look at all of Javante Davis' wins, a lot of people be like, Javante ain't really for nobody. But this one win right here versus Mario Barrios, this win will go down in history because Mario Barrios moved up from 140 to 147, and he beat Ugas, a guy who beat the legend, a division world champion, Manny Pacquiao. And that was Ugas, a world champion, a former world champion. Mario Barrios in his first fight beat a former world champion, Udonis Ugas. That's hard to believe because we've seen a guy get we seen a guy get stretched by Javante Davis. So it's kind of hard to believe that he was able to move up and wait. He was able to move up and wait and do what he did to Ugas. So it just, Javante Davis wins just aging like fine wine, you know. And look at Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. Javante Davis' son, Ryan Garcia, just son, Devin Haney. Even though there's a PD scandal going on, but still. It just makes Javante Davis looks better than what we thought he was, you know. So, if Javante Davis wins or smoking guys at 147, what would Javante do if he got in the ring with a guy like Ugas? Like, you see, this just shows us that Everybody that be talking that weight classes are there for a reason, bullshit. That shit don't really matter. If you're a good fighter, you can go up there and compete. I mean, this guy got brutally beat up by Javante Davis. And he was able to move up and drop Ugas. A much bigger fighter than Javante Davis. Much bigger. Imagine us saying, a couple years ago, us saying Javante versus Ugas. Imagine us saying that. We were probably like, oh, that's a dangerous fight for Javante. He should never fight Ugas. Well, a guy, Javante Davis, spanked. And not just spanked, knocked out. Just moved up in weight and whooped on Ugas. That's unbelievable stuff right there. This goes to show that these guys in these lower weight classes are very, very talented. Very skilled. So when we think about a fight between, like, because there's a fight brewing right now, and a lot of people are saying, no, he's going to get smoked. We think about a fight between Ryan Garcia and Earl Spence Jr. Everybody's saying Ryan going to get smoked by Earl. When you sit down and think about it, when you see fights like this, um, Barrios punching on Ugas, and Earl Spence getting rocked by Ugas. You think about Ryan Garcia versus Mario Barrios. 
how will how will Ryan Garcia do versus Mario Barrios? It's a possibility Ryan Garcia beats Mar- Mario Barrios. Probably, probably stop him or, you know, give him that work. So if Ryan could possibly beat the likes of Barrios, who beat Ugas, but like I said, it's a possibility he could be damaged goods. You know, he did take a beating against Earl Spence, but I'm just saying, like, on paper, it looks bad. So we can't write off Ryan Garcia versus Earl Spence. These little guys in these little weight classes can literally move up and compete with these 147-pound fighters. You know, it sounds far-fetched because we're looking at the weight, but we need to start looking at the skill set. You know, because this weight class shit, this weight class shit, it, it, this weight, weight class is there for a reason stuff. It's not really adding up. <laughs> it's not really adding up when people say that. They be like, weight classes are there for a reason. Well, these guys are showing that you, you, you can have all the advantages. You could be the bigger man, but as long as I'm punching... And I got boxing skills. I could go up and wait and defeat you. Which is what Javante did when he destroyed Barrios. And Barrios did when he beat Ugas. So, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I wouldn't mind seeing uh, Ryan Garcia versus Earl Spence. I don't think it's a far-fetched fight. I don't think, you know, when I first thought about it, I'm like, Earl's going to destroy Ryan. But now I'm like could be a competitive fight you know there's a possibility ryan could win the fight if earl can't take away ryan left hook or if earl can be the bigger man and bully ryan garcia maybe these guys in these smaller weight classes are just better than the guys in the bigger weight classes we'll see you know but ryan is saying he's gonna ko earl spence for uh the disrespect and owing his trainer Derek james some money but what do you guys think about Mario Barrios, man? He's He has an opportunity to become a champion at 147 if Terrence Crawford vacate the belts. He's going to fight the likes of Jerron Boots Ennis. Imagine Mario Barrios fight Jerron Boots Ennis and it is a competitive fight. People are going to be like, whoa, he's having a competitive fight with Mario Barrios who Javante Davis knocked out. Like, we're saying the same shit about Ugas. So while we can't say the same shit about Jerron Boots Ennis and Mario Barrios, if Mario Barrios become a champion, if Crawford vacate those buzz, because Jerron Ennis is saying he wants to be undisputed. He'll have to go through the likes of Barrios, Stanley Onis, and them guys. So if he can't smoke Barrios like Javante did, it's going to be a bad look on Jerron Boots Ennis. But we'll see, man. We'll see. Then people are going to start saying Jerron Ennis versus... Uh, Javante Davis is not a bad fight. Jerron Ennis versus Devin Haney is not a bad fight. Jerron Ennis versus Ryan Garcia is not a bad fight. Depending on how Jerron Ennis do against Mario Barrios. For a unification fight in the future. But yeah guys, y'all let me know in the comment section. Because all this weight classes are there for a reason. At this stage in boxing, that weight class stuff is not... It's not really a factor because it's not really adding up. It's looking like skills pays the bills majority of the time. But anyway, it's your boy, no credit, and I'm out.